Good morning, folks. Ken Ring of www.predictweather.com. The, it's the 24th of May, and the moon is in Libra today, and the sun has moved into Gemini. See, so there's the moon there, and it's making its way south. And, uh, of course, the sun, uh, every month around the 21st, the sun changes signs to a new sign. It only stays one month in each sign, and there's 12 signs in the year. And the 21st is when, when it changes, whereas the moon moves into a new sign every two days. Well, last week was a significant moon event time. Thursday was the perigee, which is when the moon is closest to the Earth for the month. Uh, Friday was the change of phase to the first quarter. And Saturday, the moon crossed the equator heading south. Uh, the perigee always brings highest tides for the month within seven days. And the last of those was on the 15th. Of this month and the next perigee is on the 16th of June uh, moon closes to the earth again and that will be the date of the next highest tides it will also be the new moon um, I'm expecting some heavy rain in both Ireland and the North Island of New Zealand around that time which could mean a bit of flooding in Ireland fairly widespread around that time uh, but in the North Island of New Zealand mainly the regions north of Taupo at the moment, the moon is heading south, uh, so it's getting higher in our sky, and it will reach its southernmost point on the 29th, which is about five days' time. And that's why down in New Zealand, it's getting quite colder now, but for the same reason, in Ireland, it's getting warmer. In fact, Ireland summer has just begun, just when we said it would, but the hotter days will be in June, especially in the last week. I've been saying for over a year now, that the Irish summer will kick in after the 25th of this month and it will intensify over the following two weeks, followed by another month, another sorry, another fortnight a month later. Uh, the warmest month may be June because of the combination of the full moon and the southern declination happening uh, pretty well on the same day. And when you get that, you get the hottest weather. Uh, but after that, there will be some, uh, quite a few fine weather spells, more than 2009, uh, but also some heavy rain spells as well. For instance, across the country, uh, I think there'll be some flooding in mid-June, as we've said, but also in mid-July. And uh, there's some other rain dump times coming up as well. Uh, we'll look at those uh, when we look further ahead for Ireland in a later blog, but uh, there are some big rain spells coming, uh, snow in some places, as early as September, uh, but not everywhere, just in central regions. Um, for most people, the snow, first snow comes around the end of October. And if the solar cycle gets itself into gear, well, perhaps we'll be seeing a milder winter than the last one. Meanwhile, it's going to be a memorable summer while it lasts in Ireland, which isn't too long, but at least there's going to be some good dry spells coming. And later down the track, which will, uh, I'm talking about more than a week, uh, which will allow Irish farmers to put their animals out to graze. They only do that when the, when the weather's dry. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope I see you tomorrow.